So no person's knowledge is knowledge on his own. It's built on the shoulders of the past people before them. So likewise, I want to list a whole bunch of privacy and tech YouTubers that I gleaned from and so should you. If you want to learn from people much smarter than me, I think this is the video you want to watch. So at this point, about a month ago, I released this video, Brax3 Phone Indigo Campaign Review. It's literally one of the worst videos I think I've made because it's just so darn long. I just mumble and jumble and uh, it's got the most amount of views and I think that that's where most of the subscribers come from. There's some better videos I think that I have here. But regardless of that, thank you for subscribing, thank you for watching, thank you for participating in the conversation. But what I want to do is uh, go through a list of people that I've followed, that I've learned from some of these people up to a decade that kind of all influenced me in my privacy journey and I think you'd be able to learn a lot from them as well. Firstly, do some housekeeping this youtube channel is only the mirror of the rumble channel if youtube takes us down for any reason i wonder why it's definitely a good idea to check out the rumble channel and subscribe there we also have a telegram channel where i share a bunch of articles videos quotes and thoughts that i have throughout the week that are relevant to the privacy and the de-googling space and go ahead and follow that channel below and join the conversation there Today's video is going through some of the OGs that influenced me in my journey. First, I want to start with Cold Fusion. Now, he does general stuff about tech, uh, some stuff about politics. Every now and then, he has a cool video about privacy. And I think it's worth to check out his channel because it's very well produced. And he's been on YouTube for years. I mean, years. Uh, a decade ago is when I watched one of his first videos that was a huge influence in terms of what led me on my privacy journey going forward. Now, Fast forward like three, four years, and then I came across Scotty's Tech. Scotty's Tech is definitely one of those channels that really expanded my horizon understanding electromagnetic frequencies, uh, 5G, um, smart meters, I mean, um, how to hardwire your house with Ethernet. I mean, these are videos that definitely influenced me in my tech behavior. Uh, but one of the things that um, Scotty definitely stood out is the idea of de-googled phones and I'm like oh, wow de-googled phones I researched that stuff and when I started researching de-googled phones then I came across Rob Broxman I mean I started following him when he probably had a hundred less than a hundred thousand subscribers definitely gained a lot of subscribers over the last three four years maybe a little bit more since I've been following him. But Rob Broxman is the internet privacy guy. If you saw that video of me doing a live commentary and review of his Brax3 phone Indiegogo campaign, this is the Rob that I was talking about. He is such a in-depth glossary of information that you will not go away from any of his videos without learning something and definitely he is who introduced me to privacy phones my first Brax device that I sent him build your own device you know he's the one who put lineage OS on it because I don't want to mess with that stuff or deal with it and it definitely has been a foundational um, person that uh, I think a lot of my knowledge of uh, privacy phones and de-googling your life uh, came from so definitely check out Rob Braxman's channel it is well worth it and you will learn a lot next on the list is Louis Rossman now Louis Rossman is a G I mean he's a troll at the same time he, he doesn't play around man if you just mess around with him he'll he'll go he'll call you out he'll call a business out for doing unethical practices He'll call a business out for violating privacy concerns. He'll call a business out for not allowing um, customers to repair their own devices that they have paid for. He, he, goes, he goes in hard. He definitely brings a lot of awareness about uh, unethical practices a lot of big tech and mainline companies have that usually I'm not even thinking about or is not even on my radar. He helps me understand some of these companies from a different angle and he's also part of um 
a company called Futotech. I mean, right here he did a very cool thank you video that you should watch as well. Definitely join and subscribe to Futotech because they are developing ethical software. They are developing software that is free. If you want to pay, go ahead. It definitely helps them uh, do their operations and hire very good programmers. But their whole concept of creating software is software that doesn't track on you, software that doesn't collect a bunch of information on you. That's their whole principle. And uh, they provide that to people for free. And if you want to support them with your dollars, you can. And I happily support them. Somebody in the chat from this video, how to import your YouTube subscriptions into Newpipe and SkyTube, mentioned Gray J. I have heard of Gray J before and then I actually checked it out. It's made by Futotech. It's an amazing app and I happily supported them with my money. So moving on, Naomi Brockwell, I mean, a lady from England, I believe, she's really cool, does a lot of really cool, fun videos. And if you're not too, like, tech savvy she does a very good job breaking down these concepts um, with a lot of cool on-screen animations with a lot of supporting b-roll material that you will not be bored watching her videos um, I think that some of her videos are a little bit surface level and not as advanced I understand for the YouTube algorithm to keep the audience retention you want to make sure your video is simple but it, I think it's just not enough information to really get you going but hey there are things that I've learned from her as well and implemented and tried out and uh, expanded on in my own kind of privacy life journey um, in my own degoogled life journey so definitely subscribe to her channel a wealth of resource that uh, again you would walk away and still learn a lot from each video another one is space rex now when I used to work at Google I, I was like man I want to ditch this whole Google Drive because even people at Google that worked at Google Drive they're saying how bad how bad the product was. I was really pissed off about when Google Play Music, which was an amazing product, it was like mobile iTunes. You know, you had your whole library and you could play it, and it was very well organized. They killed Google Play Music, and I was like, man, this sucks. They migrated everybody to YouTube Music, and then you migrated all your music into YouTube Music, but then they started putting ads on the music that I've paid for. And at this point I was like, ah, I can't stand this. There's no way, uh, like I hate this. I always ha had the idea of like, I want to stream my own music from my own server. It had, there has to be something out there. I searched for stuff, couldn't really find products that were easy to use and that I didn't have to pay some big a domain service or hosting company monthly subscription yearly subscription fees to rent domain or a host a host space on their servers and then a friend at google and then the co-worker he's just like have you ever heard about synology i'm like no and i came across synology everything synology related most of everything synology related that i know came from will space rex will definitely if you're looking into buying a home server where you can host your own videos from, your own photos, not use Google Photos, <clears throat> host your own music and play your music remotely via your own home server cloud, to have your own office suite, like a lot of stuff, definitely SpaceRex Will is who you want to check out. Now, apart from Synology, I mean, he is the GOAT. Uh, the greatest of all time in terms of Synology and uh, the information. As soon as something happens, a new update, a new feature, he's definitely on top of it a day or two, maybe three. He releases a video on it. Um, but he has a lot of other videos that are not Synology related, but in the same kind of field, you know, Raspberry Pi computers or some other gadgets like this one is about the new and use uh, an ethernet switch. A lot of cool stuff. This is a very cool video if you're thinking about which Synology to buy, he rates them from the best and the worst and will not be upgrading my Synology to a bigger one. I already know what to buy. So definitely Space Rex Whale is whose channel you want to check out. Moving on is a friend of his, WonderTech. He also does a lot of stuff on Synology, but he generally covers a, a lot of uh, uh, NAS devices, you know, your network access storage devices that are locally hosted at your home or wherever else you want to host it at and uh, either uh, access it locally or remotely. And him and Space Space Rex Will, they uh, recently did a podcast together uh, and it's something that I think you can uh, check out. Two geeky dudes geeking out and talking about details uh, about these products. 
definitely a cool organic conversation. Now, a few resources that I came across recently is uh, one of them is this guy, Josh Summers. Uh, his channel, All Things Secured, legit. Not only um, he talks about just the, you know your de-googled phones or whatever, but he talks about privacy. He talks about like how to not be hacked. He talks about other private uh, solutions, gadgets and stuff like a very cool channel that definitely puts a different twist and allows you to be um, more aware of the privacy products out there that I've never even considered. Another one I came uh, across is David Bombal. Now he did an interview with Eric Yen, the founder of Proton, Proton Mail, and that suite of products. And when I browsed through his channel, he's got a lot of cool content, tech-wise. Um, very sophisticated, knows a lot, and you know you can tell he has a whole bunch of subscribers that even Rob Broxman doesn't have. But so many videos, my goodness, one and a half thousand videos. This one I have on my watch later playlist: the real dark web, or what really happens on the dark web. But definitely, David Bombal is a channel that you want to check out, and I'm looking forward to browsing through a lot of his um, content just to learn more. But again, don't overwhelm yourself. Do a little bit at a time because, you know, it might be overwhelming. Another one is Secrets of Privacy. Now, they do have a YouTube channel. It's not too active. The last video they put up is five months ago. But when you sign up to Secrets of Privacy um, <clears throat> through their website, they have a blog over here. Um, I think they have a paid blog as well. Um, they they have a really cool email a newsletter list or whatever you call them when they send out emails it's like monthly they do this recap okay this is what happened in the privacy space this is what happened in the scam space this is what happened in the big tech space they provide so many good and informative articles that I probably wouldn't have followed along in the first place I wouldn't have heard about it uh, but they just kind of summarize, give you a whole list of stuff that you can check up on um, based on what interests you or things that you're more concerned about in, in the privacy space or about your own information leaking out and stuff. Um, so definitely Secrets of Privacy, you can um, go on their website and uh, subscribe to some sort of a newsletter. You can get a paid account. Um, they also uh, give out this like book Facebook blocked their account because they published this resource and how to like protect yourself and online scams I have it right here secrets of privacy become a harder target uh, this is uh, the newsletter that they provide I literally printed it and it just gives you a quick little overview about privacy infringements how you can avoid scams um, a bunch of resources of further things you can do. They're a great resource, not their YouTube channel, but a great resource you want to check out if you want to have a continuous feed of information. They don't spam your email every day. It talks about privacy and respects your privacy and doesn't annoy you with a whole bunch of stuff. Buy a product, buy a product. So with that said, I hope this whole list, I'm sure there's much more people to add. And if you got other cool channels in the privacy space that you'd want to um, recommend, please put them down in the comments below. And uh, I'm looking forward to learning more along with you and be on this privacy journey together. Much love. Peace out. Talk to you later.